Between 1861 and 1868, Clara Barton, known as the Angel of the Battlefield and founder of the American Red Cross, lived in this Washington, D.C. building. She employed 12 clerks on the third floor in her missing soldier's office, where they received over 60,000 letters from families searching for lost sons and husbands. In 1996, Richard Lyons, a carpenter for the General Services Administration, was helping to prepare the building for demolition when he discovered this office sign in the attic. American History TV visited the building on 7th Street to learn about the missing soldier's office and to hear the story of Richard Lyons, who worked alone for months to save the building from demolition. the original staircase um, that Clara used that has never been renovated or changed much at all, just a few repairs done to it. So when you walk up the staircase and put your hand on the banister, you're walking in Clara Barton's footsteps. Uh, she did this for about eight years uh, during uh, the Civil War era and just after when she operated a missing soldier's office in the space. And eventually she ended up leaving because her health became so poor and she was so exhausted from the work she had done during the war that she couldn't climb these three sets of stairs anymore. So she ended up uh, moving out late in December of 1868. And that's pretty much when she closed down her operations here in Washington. One of the neat things that we have, we found in the space that we had replicated is a roll of the missing men. Clara um, had five of these produced during the war and sent out almost 100,000 copies. Um, and we only know of a handful in existence today. So one of the goals of my museum is to find copies of each roll, one through five, um, so that we can show people exactly all the names and um, exactly what kind of work she was doing during that period of time. She started out in just one room, and I have read an account from one of her family members who visited her here, who said that um, she had one room, she divided that room in half because she started to collect supplies for soldiers, and um, she needed so much space that she put this wall up you see in the background, and that was her boarding room. Half of it was used to store supplies, the other half was her living space, which was really quite small for the time. The last time we know anyone inhabited this space on the third floor was, gonna, was in 1911. That's when the original Lisi, Edward Shaw, moved out of the building. He had gotten to be rather elderly, and um, he went, uh, left this building and moved in some smaller space. I'm not sure where yet. Uh, he's one of the very intriguing personalities that we're researching right now to find out exactly what his role was um, in his relationship with uh, Clara Barton. My name is Richard Lyons. I work for General Service Administration as a carpenter. In uh, 1996, they sent us out to the buildings that we acquired from Pennsylvania Avenue Development Corporation to clean them up, make sure nobody was living in them. It was the day before Thanksgiving in 96. Uh, I made my way up the steps and I got up here, you know, just nothing in here, no lights, no nothing. Only a little bit of light coming through the windows. I came over here, looked, looked around, nothing, nothing was here. So I happened to witness, you don't usually witness one, but I witnessed an accident out here in the intersection. Somebody ran a red light and bumped fenders. And I'm standing there watching, see what happens. And from out of nowhere, I don't know what it was, but it felt like somebody tapped me on the shoulder. I thought it was a coworker. I turned around wasn't nobody there. So when I turned back around to look out the window, I turned around like this, and uh, the corner of my eye, I seen an envelope hanging between the uh, ceiling and the wall. These boards here were laid out like a floor up there, all leveled off and everything. I pulled myself up through this little hole. I'm on my hands and knees, and I put my hand on a piece of metal, so I pick it up to move it out of the way, so I get over to where the envelope was, and when I turned it over, it read Missing Soldier's Office. 
third story, room nine, Miss Claire Barton. 